25 of the Constitution is an impediment to land expropriation without compensation. It's also an impediment to nationalization of markets. And an equal society will only be built through the economy. Any other thing you can bring gear, you can bring the NGP, you can bring anything. It's a cosmetic exercise. <laughs> and the ANC must never apologize for wanting to amend the constitution. We brought the constitution to South Africa and when the time to amend has arrived, we must not apologize to anybody. We must not just be happy to be celebrated all over the world that we are having a progressive constitution when majority of our South Africans are living in Squata all over the country. We have been to Zimbabwe, the indigenous people of Zimbabwe are running the economy. When you meet a mine manager in Zimbabwe, it's a black person. When you meet a farm manager in Zimbabwe, it's a black person. Food is bad in the streets of Zimbabwe, petrol is bad, brought back by the indigenous people of Zimbabwe. But we have said if it is indeed true that Zimbabwe is such a scary and a bad thing, therefore majority of South Africans in the Mkukus of Alexandra, in the Mkukus of Mdanzana and many other rural areas of South Africa will therefore be living in Zimbabwe today. <laughs> Our people are not able to become engineers and so forth. They are just being admitted for the sake of compliance and dignity. And this cannot be. This struggle was not just for cosmetic exercise or for just being seen as a rainbow nation, but it was for the transfer of the mineral wealth of this country to ensure that everybody benefits. With these few words, we want to wish this Congress of NUMSA and the workers and wish to tell you that the youth and the workers have brought apartheid to a standstill. It has brought down apartheid. It will bring down the apartheid to Kunu.